Hello again, loves. Rebecca here. Welcome back to the channel. And today it is May I scrap lift you. Right? Let's make sure. Yep, 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 yep. May I scrap lift you? So today, because my prompt is also triangles, I chose this lovely layout off of Pinterest from the lily pad with some triangles. Because, <laughs> hey, why not, right? So I've got my triangle dies right here and what it looks like at least you know my interpretation of what it looks like and I don't have any paper pad any collection or anything picked out I basically made this um, background paper sop it up uh, mixed media from my glass board glass studio mat so what it looks like. And I need to see. I'm going to cut me out of the photos. I'm really just going to get the girls in there, which works out pretty good. Go smaller. Um, I'm going to have one go this way. Uh, so I'm going to get that in there. All I'm going to do is I'm going to trace it and cut it. I'm not going to use my die cutting machine, but it looks like the, it's, the triangles are cut out of the background paper. So I thought what I would do is trace it and then use an exacto knife and cut. We'll see how that works, right? So how I do it when I have a photo we're going to do it. I hold it up to my light. I need to get it in there. I'm going to do the inside. That's going to cut E off. I just hold it up like that. Then I bring it down. Not, not, not actually right on there, huh? I need a ballpoint pen, and I never have one when I need one. And then I'm going to trace it like that, and I'll just cut it out with my scissors. So I'll be right back when I have this done. All right, so I thought I would do a little bit of a check-in with you to show you what I meant. So here is my paper. I do have the two little doggy photos. Now, mind you, I did cut a lot out of these photos. I do not recommend this if you're trying to preserve a lot of the, the photo. In my case, I have like 15 pictures of them sniffing and smelling these treats. So it's really just fun to use these for the shape ones. I did go ahead and flip this over and then I just took the largest one, triangle, and I just made a fun little funky design. It's not straight across cross because my triangle is not as big as the one used in the picture. Then we're just going to come in. I'm going to line this up. And I am just going to come through and I'm going to use my little ruler. We're going to get it as close as possible. I'm going to cut out these triangles. My head's in the way. I do apologize. This is a brand new uh, blade on there. So it is cutting. Quite nicely, and as I can tell you guys that, obviously I didn't push hard enough. One of the great things about Glassboard Studios glass mats is you can cut right on there. Okay, I will save those to use on a future layout. None of these really do match up. I'm going to make them match up, like this one. I'm just going to cut that one there. It's on the back side, which is why I kind of chose to do it on the back so that I would be able to see my pencil lines instead of just winging it. <laughs> kind of what I do. This one we're going to take there. Well, too far, but it's all right. We're going to come in and 
my cut pieces. And we have another one. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat these triangles like a cup file. And I'm going to back them. All right, I'll be right back. Check-in time. Also, I found a whole box full of random adhesives. So I'm going to be trying to use these all up. <laughs> so I did get this done. I've got some major buckling going on with this layout, but it's okay. Um, if we can zoom you in so you can see what I got going on there. Let's get that a little close. Oh, that was too close. All right, so if you see... I did cut those all out and then I took papers from one of my random collections, some close to my heart and some hip kit and all kinds of fun things in there. And then I've got the two photos which are popped up and they're just sitting on top of there. But I can see my mixed media paper is buckling. I'm not real sure why, but It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So I'm like wrinkling it down a little bit just because I don't want the gap. Oh, anyway. Neither here nor there. Back you back out a little bit. All right. So then I fussy cut the rest of those flowers. I know I said I was going to get rid of that kit, but huh. yeah, I didn't. So we're just going to start popping these guys in. And I have, this is a scotch. So I'm, you know, it's, I mean, it's really good tape, but it doesn't work the best. All right. Tuck that one in because it was run off the page. It was run off, so I cut it. Get this guy down on here as well. Not sure what's going on, but oh my goodness, is this out? Maybe hmm. there we go. Whatever. <laughs> it's really just starting to annoy me at this point. Pop this guy right here. I mean, yeah, I'm covering up the um, some of the Laurel's right. Oh, do we want to put that there? Do we want to go? No, it's staying. The glue is not a uh, removable. And I feel like we just need something down here. What do you guys think? One there. One here. We're going to go for it. That way that is all used up. I did use that tape to adhere this stuff down as well. Make it look like it's stuck in there, right? This one really was stuck in there. All right, so much is going on. Let's see. 
Birthday wishes. We're going to go ahead and get that stuck on there. Oh, B is being such a buttonhole today. And my friend. And my friend up here. So these were used with like shimmer brushes from close to my head, I believe. Um, I definitely want to use the rest of that back up. Let's see. Some of this on here. Give me a hug, darling. And this one is the joy in your faces. What's all about cupcakes? Because there was like donuts and all kinds of fun little treats. This is for Meg's birthday. Here. Yeah. As well, I'm going to pop in these little green guys because we're going to use the green and we're going to use. Hello. Feels good to be using stuff. Okay. That is used stuff. I'll throw this away. This will go with my mixed media little copy here. I've been trying to organize things a little bit. Um, let's see. Not like a speech bubble. Not bad. Just pop it over here. I guess why not? I really think that we're going to do some sketchy lines. I just got this blue pin sitting here. Two lines right here. This one will be done as well because this is also, there's not a lot of embellishment going on in the layout that I chose to lift. Oh, I did matte my paper with the purple because that purple heart paper to me was kind of standing out. And I didn't want it to stand out. I was trying to make it kind of, you know, coordinate. So I took them close to my heart. But here is my, or my, here is the original from the Lily Pad that I decided to lift today. And here's what I ended up with. So don't forget to check everyone else out that's playing along with May I Scrap Lift You. Remember that my prompt for the day was triangles, which just made sense that I would go ahead and find a layout that I had saved that I wanted to give a whirl. And I like this. I also got this pre-made mixed media paper. I use that guys like this when I have stencils and stuff that I just, or an excess amount. That sometimes I wipe it up, but sometimes if I have a piece of paper, I just grab it and I stop it up and create a fun uh, mixed media background. I just leave it sitting around so that I will always be able to have it. You know what I do have? What? What do we have that I can use? I'm trying to get rid of all of this stuff. I have these little star gems in purple that we can just pop around. Oh, that child. She is on point. And I don't know what she's even barking about. You know, it's like there's nothing. I had to take her outside and show her earlier. There's nothing. She's not having it though. She's like, well, there's something. I don't know. The other day she started barking and it was my husband. As she's staring at him and he's talking to her and she's still barking because he was out of the house and she was in the house and he was, she was like, no, you don't let me out. All right. Anyway. So yeah, I'm trying to use all of this up because I'm trying to get away from storing my stuff like that. I don't break it. I don't break it apart by item anymore. So like, I don't have like a whole container of, um, I mean, I do still, but that's the one I'm working through. But for the most part, I try to keep everything kitted together. So, um, 
and then break it apart that way. But then it sits, I now have a box like right here that's full of stuff that I need to use an adhesive. Then I have my RASCAD cart and that's what I pull out for when I make my uh, page kits for my members. We make page kits together. So yeah, digression. Don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget to check everyone else out. Please do all the fun YouTube things like subscribe, join channels, join memberships, check out Facebook groups, do all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye.